Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a general reading, whatever the cards want to say. Courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. Supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. Ooh. Hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish. Death right, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. Madness, ecstatic, ecstatic ritual, energy release. Ancient, ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. Hmm. I'm feeling like this is like a spirit that's helping you. This is like, could be like a, like a passed on relative. I feel like this could also be like a god or goddess or some kind of spirit guide. Because there's some kind of spirit guide here that's like thoughtful, polite, courteous like someone that's like gentle like maybe they have like a very intense energy like they they might seem darker to most people but like they're actually they're very thoughtful and polite uh supernatural inexplicable miraculous yeah otherworldly there's some kind of otherworldly being here that's helping you that's giving you hope this could be this is an ancient deity god or goddess whoever this is this could be someone, this could be someone um, with from an Egyptian past life, or this could be like an Egyptian deity I'm getting as well for some of you. But, um, yeah, look at these cards though. Look at this energy. We have madness, ecstatic ritual, energy release. It's like you have this deity that wants to connect with you, that's working with you. And they don't necessarily have to be a dark deity. I'm not saying that they are. I'm just saying that like... They're, I, I feel like they're intense is what I'm saying. You know, like Egyptian gods and goddesses, for example, are not ones to be messed with. It doesn't mean that they're dark or negative in any way, but they're, you know, they're powerful. Same with like Norse gods and goddesses. Because I'm getting this, this being is like thoughtful and polite. Like they're caring and they're giving you hope, but they're also very powerful. Energy, newness, vitality, vitality, free will, independence, free spirit. Yeah, so this spirit guide is still giving you your free will. Primal. Connecting deep within, sacred dance, instinct, ooh. Hmm. I feel like this spirit guide is trying to get you back in touch with your free-spirited nature. Because that's kind of what I'm getting here, what we're here with, like, free spirit, free will, and then we have primal, like, connecting deep within, sacred dance, instinct. Like, could be, like, a belly dancer or someone that dances or someone that's just, you know, like, kind of see this energy. Look at how, like kind of free and spontaneous, like just creative, artistic. It's like, I feel like the spirit guide is kind of trying to get you back in touch with that side of yourself with like your, they're bringing this new energy into your life, this youthful, youthfulness. I feel like a lot of you have been um, kind of like stagnant almost for some of you. And now you're having this breakthrough, which does kind of go along with the reading that I just did. So I feel like you have these, this spirit, I feel like one particular, I mean, you probably have more than that, of course, that are working on this, but I feel like you have one particular that's really reaching out to connect. And it's like, they're trying to bring this new energy back into your life. They're trying to bring your passion back. They're trying to bring this, it's like this primal, free-spirited, adventurous, just, you know, ancient kind of energy. It's just this like raw emotion, raw passion, you know, could be trying to get you back into dancing or into, um... For like for dancers or like those that are in some kind of artistic field, like they're trying to get you back into painting or maybe some of you make ruins or maybe some of you, um, I'm just getting like music, dancing, painting, um, arts, creativity, just anything with the arts. It's like they're trying to push you into that. They're trying to push you to pursue your passions. Some of the, some of them are trying to push you on your spiritual path to really develop, develop your psychic gifts. But it's like there's a spirit guide that's really bringing in this new energy. It's like they're trying to get you to reconnect with the, your free spirited side. If you're like your primal side, you know, trying to get you to just kind of be the person you were before the world told you who to be, you know, or be the person you used to be, be the, you know, be who you truly are on a soul level. You know, you have a spirit guide that's really working with you and pushing you to do the shadow work and to reconnect with yourself. Yeah, because the past is a prison. Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. Some of you had, like, control issues where you were in this prison of the past. 
And um, so I do feel like this might go along with my reading that I just did about ending karmic cycles. Because I kept getting the energy of like someone was ending like a major, like an ancestral curse for some. And then others were like, you know, just, just ending like a major karmic cycle. Like someone was finally taking their power back. Ending, um, you know, abusive, toxic relationships, toxic friendships, toxic environments, toxic situations. Standing in their power and going towards their true love. Going towards their destiny. Going towards what makes them truly happy. You know, um... You know, speaking their truth, you know, learning, you know, someone, it's like someone's such a free spirit. I feel like someone here has like a fairy soul, like a fae spirit. Um, and they, it's like, it's kind of been dulled down by people and by situations, like maybe like working a nine to five job, that kind of energy. It's like someone's been kind of just, it's like they, they've almost like lost themselves. It's like they, they think back to their past about who they were and like all the fun stuff they used to do. And it's like they just feel kind of um, kind of like this, like a nostalgia for the past kind of energy is what I get. You know, someone lost their free spirited side or they, they didn't lose it. It's still there, but it's like they suppressed it or it just kind of doled down over time um, because of the nature of the world, you know, because of some things that they went through. And I feel like the spirit guide is kind of telling you like, hey, screw what the world thinks, screw what everybody thinks, you know, this is your path, do what's right for you. So yeah, it really does go into that message I got about, you know, someone ending a major karmic cycle and, you know, speaking their truth, even if their voice shakes, you know, doing what's right for them, standing in their power, taking their power back, doing soul retrieval. Soul retrieval will be beneficial for people in this group for sure. Look into soul retrieval if you can find someone legit that can do it. But um, yeah, it's like someone learned to set boundaries. Someone I was getting that in the last reading. Like someone learned to set boundaries. Someone was forced to get themselves out of the Eight of Swords energy and listen to their intuition and develop and trust their intuition and stand in their own truth. Even if it means, you know, standing alone, even if it means the world misunderstands you. You know, this is that energy of someone that, you know, it's like wear the corset dress out in public. You know what I mean? Like wear, dye your hair green, dye your hair pink. You know what I mean? Like, like go travel the world, go take that, you know, quit the nine to five job and go, you know, take a leap of faith with, with another company that you feel is better for you or, 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 um, you know, go start that business you've been wanting to start. It's like that kind of energy, this free spirited, almost like impulsive, passionate energy and you have a spirit guide that's pushing this for you. And it's a really, it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. It's almost like you just, you haven't been as in touch, you know, the past years or so, or however long it's been, you haven't been as in touch with this free spirited, adventurous, fun, loving side of yourself. You know, some of you is like capitalism can do that to you too. You know, when you're trying to just work and get by, it's like, you can really become numb. But now you're having this kind of breakthrough energy come in where the spirit guide is coming in and being like, you know what? You deserve more than this. You don't deserve to be stuck in the past. You know, it's like it's like this life is short kind of energy, you know, like. Like, go travel, go, go live your life, go live your best life, make the world your oyster. It's like you have a spirit guide that's really pushing you to do this because they don't want you to be this. This isn't you. You know what I mean? Like. Like, this is you right here. This is you. He, he, male or female, but this is you, this dancer, this artist, this, this musician, this creator, this, this divine, you know, empress, emperor energy, like this, um, high priestess energy. This is you, this isn't you. This is someone that's exhausted and drained and maybe, you know, maybe someone who's overworked, maybe someone who's had, you know, been alone for too long. Someone who's had, you know, maybe it's like, maybe some of you are like alone and it's like, you want to go out and meet people, but. You've just been through so much that you don't even have the energy, especially after work. Some of you are working 40 plus hours a week and, and after work, you don't have the energy to go out and meet people. You don't have the energy to do anything. You're just kind of, um, sorry about that. You're just, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like you see the, the energy difference between these two and your spirit guides are trying to transition you from this to this, to being your true self again, to reconnecting with your true self. You know, it's like some of you just don't have the energy anymore. You're like, look at her. She's just kind of drained. It's like bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. Some of you, it's like holding on to toxic energies. I feel like it's, um, I want to say just like, like a numbness almost, like an apathy kind of. Like, it could be like control issues. 
but you know your spirit guides are kind of saying and this could be like and you know this could this kind of reminds me of the energy of like people that it's like i don't want to tell anyone to like not watch readings i mean i'm on here i'm doing readings of course i want you guys to watch me but it's kind of like the energy of someone that just like has been you know and i i'm not saying that your person's not coming back i'm not saying that but it's almost the energy of someone that's been watching these readings for a year two years over a karmic person that the situation is long over and your spirit guides are kind of like okay like these readings are amazing and I feel so weird saying that because I'm like I don't want to discourage people to not watch my readings <laughs> like no I want you guys to watch my readings but like when I do my readings though like don't get don't get caught up to the point where it's like you haven't talked to the person in two years and they've told you they want nothing to do with you, but you're still watching the readings to see what they're feeling and thinking. You know what I mean? It's like, that's not good for you. You want, you know what I mean? It's like, for some, I feel like you're, you're, someone's holding onto a karmic here. It's kind of the energy I get for some where it's like, and this is, this is for someone that's been a hold. This is for a specific person that's been holding onto a karmic for like a couple of years. This is like, you know, and don't shoot the messenger. This is just, there's just a spirit guide around. that's like saying like, Hey, like, that wasn't even your real twin flame. That was the false twin flame. We want to bring you your real twin flame, but you got to, you know, get off the couch, stop watching these readings, stop scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and and whatever else. You know, do something. Go go meet people. Go go have some fun cuz some of you have been stagnant and it's like your spirit guides are like, "No, like stop being in this prison of the past." Um but a lot of you are ending the karmic cycles. You know what I mean? It's beautiful energy. A lot of you have ended like abusive karmic relationships. Like you've gotten out of some of you were in toxic living situations with the karmic that was abusing you and you've gotten out of that. And now you're going forward to be with your true love, you know, but you know, whatever the situation is, cause there's a few different stories here. You know, it's the same energy group, but there's different variations of the story, but whatever it is, it's kind of saying like the past is a prison. It's like, you know, do the shadow work, you know, let it go, go forward, because some of you are just holding on to things that are that are over with or, or stagnant. Um, and your spirit guides aren't saying it to hurt you. They're just saying it to, um, and you would know, this would be, this isn't, like, if you've been holding on to someone, if, if this is, like, recent, like, you've been holding on to someone for, like, two or three months or something, and, like, you know, it was true love, that's different. This is for someone that's been holding on to, a toxic person that like abused them for you know and they haven't even talked to them for two years and they weren't even happy to begin with but they're just holding on because they don't know how to move forward after that you know what I mean it's like some people have here have been delaying the shadow work they just don't know it's like they feel like they're in limbo they don't know how to go forward they're just kind of like well what do I do next you know how do I trust again after that and your spirit guides are like okay it's time to do the shadow work it's time to let go of the control issues time to to go out and make the world your oyster it's tr time to to channel all that energy into creativity into art into the things that you love some of you might meet someone at like a club or some kind of dance party or something like some kind of um like you might have like a mutual hobby or something with this person for others you already know who your true love is and you know you just ended up you just got out of like an abusive relationship with someone and you're going towards your true love or vice versa you know, for some, you already know who your true love for others that have been holding on to like a karmic relationship for a couple of years. Your spirit guides are kind of saying like, hey, like it's time to go out and live either way for this whole group. They're saying, you know, time to go out and live. Um, so th there's a spirit guide that's all about just getting you on your creative path for sure. Because it's not really about you. It's not really about like what this person did or didn't do. And that's something you have to kind of recognize, like, cause I'm feeling like the energy of someone, like, I feel like there's some women here in this or, or men, maybe both. But I'm feeling that there's some people watching this right now who have been like physically abused, like in physically abusive relationships. And I feel like your spirit guides just want you to know, like, it wasn't you, it was them. You know, it's nothing you did wrong. It's, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, some people end up getting insecure because they think about all the things that abusive people did or didn't do. And it's like, it's not, that's, that's their relationship with themselves. That's how they are. They're, they'd be like that with anybody. You know what I mean? What you have to ask yourself is why are you allowing that energy? Why were you repeating that pattern? Why were you going for that type of people? Why were you allowing them into your life? You know what I mean? Like, 
but don't let them make you feel insecure. It's like that's, you know, that's the kind of people that they are. It doesn't have anything to do with you. They're an abusive man or woman is going to be abusive with everybody. It's not just you, you know? So kind of do the shadow work and, um, you know, try to move past this. Try to move past what you've... And they're, they're not saying like... They're not saying like, oh, like, like your past, okay, like your past is part of who you are. Of course it is. Like, they're not saying, oh, just suppress it and be positive and let it go. No, this isn't positive thinking at all. This is merging. This is like a very free spirited, like kind of faith energy almost here where it's like merging the light and the darkness and finding that balance again. You know, being your true self. You don't need to be positive. You don't need to sweep it all under the rug and pretend like it didn't happen you know, acknowledge it, you know, it, you know, embrace that. The past is part of who you are. It's made you who you are today. But it's just saying don't live in the past forever. Don't let that control you forever. Like if you've been in a really, you know, toxic, abusive connection, it's like, you know, own that. Like you went through that. You know what I mean? Like you, that's your story. You went through that. You have every right to talk about it. But they're just saying like, don't hold on to that person. Don't let that person stop you from living your life and stop you from going out and meeting someone that, you know, might not do that to you. You know what I mean? And some of you do need like to really end those patterns. Some of that, sometimes that takes counseling or whatever it might take, but it's like, it's like someone, there's just been like, there's just a stagnant energy where your spirit guides are like, you know what, it's time to go out and live your life. It's time to go have fun. You know, primal energy, resurrection, reprise, recovery, comeback. It is time for your comeback. It's time for your glow up, you know? And, you know, the key here is letting go of control issues and living your life again. Um, even if it's baby steps, even if, you know, some of you are exhausted, some of you do work a lot. So sometimes it's like even just baby steps. Maybe you just like once every couple of weeks, go out and do something fun. You know, if you can't do it, you know, every week or whatever, that's fine. It's just saying like, do something new, you know, like go to... Go to a new sandwich shop. Go to go to a new cafe for a change. You're always going to the same exact cafe every single morning. It's like go someplace new. Go to a new grocery store even. Um, go to the park. If you don't have a lot of money, go do something that's free. It's just it's just like do something new. Get out of the stagnant energy. Go have fun. You know, this is like someone that might have like just a, like a lack of a balance when it comes to like work. When it's just like all work and like you've forgotten to live your life. Like you're so focused on financial goals and getting to a certain point that you've kind of forgotten to have fun and live in the moment it's like you've lost yourself trying to meet these financial goals you know it's like you've lost your part of yourself trying to you know trying to run up that hill and get to a certain point that you've forgotten to look around you and live in the moment and do what makes you happy it's like you've you know, like your life is passing you by for some of you because you're just trying to save money and it's good it's not it's not bad to try to save money but you have to have a balance it's like Okay, that's amazing that you're saving money, but just go go to a concert. Go do something once in a while, you know? Like, go have, like, a balance. This is just, like, a very, like, it's like a lack of a balance in, like, work and love, you know, fun, all of that. I'm just seeing that someone that's, like, overworked or someone that's, like, trying so hard to meet goals that they're, they've forgotten themselves. They've forgotten to, how to have fun. They've forgotten how to be social. Some of you, it's like you've been so isolated for so long that you've kind of forgotten how to meet people and how to be social. And it's like there's this area, there's just this area of your life that needs your attention, that needs this balance, you know, that there needs to be a balance restored. And your spirit guides want to take you from being this, from being exhausted, worn out, numb, to being passionate, strong, in your power. Look at her, look at him, male or female, but look at this energy, this being, it's like, no one's going to mess with that, no one's going to mess with that energy, that's, that's perfect, you know what I mean? Like, this person's strong, they're powerful, they're adventurous, they're a free spirit, they live their life on their own terms. They don't care what society thinks. They don't care what people, they don't care if people talk about how they dress or what they wear. You know, it's like some of you have like sold your soul to capitalism to, um, that sounds weird. I don't want to say sold your soul. That sounds so fucking dark. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I just mean some of you, it's like, you want to have like your hair done and piercings and it's like, you're, it's just like, you're, you're not yourself. It's just this energy that you haven't been yourself. You've lost this part of yourself and this the spirit guy that around you that really loves you just wants to get you back in touch with this side of yourself. They want you to go back to being able to tell people to, to F off when you need to, you know? They want you to go back to dressing and being who you want to be. For some, you might have been in an abusive relationship or you might be in an abusive relationship where this person doesn't let you dress how you want or they don't let you say or do what you want. They try to change you. They try to make you what they want you to be. 
And your spirit guide wants you to break free of break free of that and just be true to yourself. Just put yourself first. Just reconnect with this adventurous, free-spirited, passionate side of yourself. This is just this is raw emotion. And raw emotion is honestly, in my opinion, the key to manifesting. It's not positive thinking. At least not for me. It's never been positive thinking for me. Like, I feel like I'm being, when I try to force myself to be positive when I'm not feeling it, I, I feel like I'm faking it. I don't, I don't feel it. I don't, it don't resonate with it. But raw emotion, passion, you know, all of that, just letting things flow, just the good and the bad, just, you know, real life. That's to me what makes things manifest the most when you can tune into that energy and, and merge the light and the darkness. You know, you can't have one without the other. And that's that kind of fae spirit energy too, just primal, just very real, very raw, very natural. Um, you know, connecting deep within, sacred dance, instinct, intuition. This is like that person that lives out in the woods and, you know, has 50 cats and green hair and wears corset dresses or 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 cloaks or whatever you know male or female and like everyone thinks they're crazy but they're happy so who gives a shit this is your life you know what i mean like do what makes you happy go travel the world go do what's right for you because you know I, i'm just gonna like someone like working like a desk job or a nine to five or like someone wearing like a business suit or just dressing in a way at work where they're just like so bored and they're so numb and they're so depressed and it's just like and i get it you have to pay rent like i totally understand that but they just, they still want you to break free from that. They still want you to, maybe maybe there's like another option, but you're afraid to, to start a new business or go out on your own. And it's like your spirit guides are saying like, you know, you're losing yourself. You're losing parts of yourself to this job. And this job would, if you died tomorrow, this job would replace you in a heartbeat. They don't care about you. Your employer does not care about you. They're, you know what I mean? They're exploiting you. And it's like, they, they want you to, it's like some of you are putting capitalism first or you're putting like money first. And it's like, that's not who you really are though. Like you used to be someone that puts love and adventure and, and all these ideals first. And now you kind of put money first or you're putting all these goals first. And it's not saying that you should throw the goals away. It's just saying like reconnect with this person that you truly are and find a balance. You know what I mean? Like bring this person back into your being, call this energy back in. Call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement. That's what it's time for. Yeah, thirst, obsession, craving, compulsion. I also see this as just passion. Passion right here. Get your passion back. Get your, you know, pick up that guitar. Pick up that instrument. Sing again. Write again. Dance again. Go out and have fun again. You know what I mean? Like, like don't give yourself away to people and jobs and situations that are just draining you and not giving you anything in return. It's time to restore your energy and this spirit guide here is trying to, you know, they want you to sacrifice something to, in order to bring in this energy, this passion. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you might have to let go of an old job. You might have to let go of an old abusive connection, you know, but you're, you're going to be like, it's about being true to yourself. It's about finding yourself again, because it's like, how lonely is it to be out of touch with your own soul, you know? And they just, this, this spirit guy just wants you to be back in touch with your soul, with your free-spirited side, with your adventurous side, with your, your daring side. They want you to have excitement and passion and fun again, you know? They want you to go out dancing again. They want you to be your true self again. Yeah, and reach out for help if you need it. You know, you can talk to them. You can talk to them, but they want, this is you. This is you. You're this little... You know, you might be gothic too, anti-hero, maverick, risk taker, rule breaker. You're this person. And they're like, you know what? Like, be it. Be who you are. You know what I mean? Like, you're meant to, you're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be a rule breaker, a risk taker. You're meant to light a path for other people. You know what I mean? Like, dye your hair how you want. Get the tattoos you want to get. Like, do, do you. You know, it's time to do you. Yeah, some of you, it's like time to, I'm getting like time to pick up an instrument. Some of you have an instrument that you haven't played in a while. Yeah, you changed course out of like, like maybe punishing yourself for something or maybe like jealousy or envy, like some kind of negative energy that got in the way. Yeah, pressure of peers for some, like your family or society got in the way. There could be like someone, like someone kind of, Someone saw your light and tried to dim your light for some of you is what I'm getting. Like they tried to kind of, you know, hunt you down. Like they saw that you were happy. They saw you were this beautiful, ecstatic, free spirit. And they wanted to hunt you. They wanted to 
yeah, they wanted to, they wanted to infiltrate your dreams. They wanted to, um, they were jealous of that free spirited energy. If you are a fairy soul, let me tell you. Okay. And I know, I know this is probably not, I know it sounds crazy, but there are, I would say maybe like one third of people on earth have human souls, like original, like they're from earth. The earth is like a middle, it's like a, a, the middle point, like the middle point for all there's, there's demons in human bodies here. There's, there's soulless people, there's pe there's people without souls, then there's angels in human bodies, there's space spirits in human bodies, there's dragon spirits in human bodies. As crazy as it sounds, this is just, there's a whole blend of different beings here. And succubus spirits and demon spirits absolutely hate fae spirits because I'm getting that a lot of you in this group are from the fairy realm. And there was some kind of succubus, maybe someone like in your family or something or a friend that just saw your light and your power and they drained you and you might not have realized it. For some, you need to cut cords because this person tried to be a nightmare in your life. They tried to pull you down. They tried to get you off your path. You might have like musical talents and gifts that this person was jealous of. Could be like a sister or someone or a cousin or someone that was just jealous of you. So it's time to get back on your spiritual path. Yeah, own your flaws. Don't let this person gaslight you. It's time, yeah, catalyst. You're meant to be a creator. Love conquers all. That's what you, that's a truth that you forgot too. Like you used to know that true love conquers all and you've forgotten that truth. And it's like, it's time to get back in touch with it. You know, enduring loyalty, internal, eternal love, lasting commitment. You know, like you're meant, you know, you're not meant to be like everybody else. Misfit, loner, wanderer, outsider, you're, you know, and you can find your soul tribe, but it's like, you, you know, it's just time to be your true self. It's time to be your true self because like, why impress people that you don't even resonate with anyway? You know what I mean? Like, why would you even want it? Why, why do you care? Why, who, who cares what they think? Those aren't even your people. That's not even your soul group. Who gives a shit what they think? You know, go out and find your real soul group. Go out and find, you know what I mean? Like, go find other weirdos that are just like you and, and live your best life and go do what's right for you. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, my email is below. Um, my donation links also below and I appreciate donations. Um, appreciate comments, likes, shares, subscribes, you know, thank you guys for watching.